the incredible thing is any school that has participated in the Edible Schoolyard program, it's been basically the gift that keeps giving on education, on personal growth, and tying in science, math, language, history. It's just such an incredible way to learn about so many different aspects. Did you realize that it would be affecting almost all parts of education and children's personal responsibility and growth? Well, I have to say that, um, and maybe you know this story because I tell it all the time, but it was, this project was inspired by a project in the San Francisco County Jail. A woman named Catherine Sneed, 25 years ago, uh, planted a garden there and with these inmates on seven, seven acres of land. Well, it was such a great therapy that when it was time to leave the jail, they didn't want to go. <laughs> so she started the project outside the jail, and a sort of like a halfway house project, and then she called the restaurant to see whether we would buy produce if they grew it to our specification. And that's how I got to meet these, these really young people. I mean, really young, um, 18 and 20 year old kids. But they were completely transformed by the experience of growing food, and they offered it to the homeless centers in San Francisco. So it was a combination of growing and offering that was transformational. And they ended up not going back to jail and being part of the tree corps, planting trees in San Francisco. Many of them did. And uh, you know, every person who does not go to jail, that, that's $85,000 a year. So we're doing a project um, in Sacramento with the mayor of Sacramento, uh, which is kind of incredible because he wants to to do uh, a project where the kids run the whole cafeteria themselves. They do the math of it, the, the outreach of it, the, the planning, the, the cooking, the designing of the, everything they do themselves. And I think it's just a great way to engage high school kids. And he's doing it because he really feels like um, what's going on with the dropout rate and the prison system in California is unconscionable. That's why he's doing that. So I guess, yes, I've known all of the goodness that can come, the transformational part, because I, I was a Montessori teacher way back when, and um, <coughs> Montessori worked with a lot of very poor uh, kids in very deprived in uh, India and in Naples particularly. And I think that kids have uh, those same, uh, uh, shall we say, disabilities uh, from poverty in this country um, that that her methods of, of uh, a sort of um, awakening the senses can, can work for, for young people here. And so I've applied the Montessori pedagogy of teaching the whole child. And it just seems to work like a child. <laughs>